You see this when God knows you are ready to hear it. This is a season of your manifestation and this particular message is important because if you don't do this, you are not going to manifest your potential in this season of your life. It's a very serious message and it takes it needs you to take serious measures on this. And Vera, and this is Active Potentials. You want to discover your live assignment and manifest it. This is a good channel to follow. You can follow the link there. Touch the subscribe button below. So you can always join us and check out our videos and also get prayed for. So this is, we are in the book of Genesis chapter 12. We can see here from verse 1. The Bible says, Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show you. Notice here that God tells Abraham, God, and he told him specifically to get out of his father's house. He told him, he didn't say carry anybody. Verse 2, he says, and I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that cursed thee. And these shall, these shall all families of the earth be blessed. Praise God. Let's come down here. And Abraham took Sarah, his wife. Okay, let's understand that when two people are married, they have become one. So Abraham had the right to carry his wife. And Lord, his brother's son. Wait, how does his brother's son concern him? God has spoken to you and your family. He says, come out from your kindred. Meaning, if you're coming out, don't carry anybody else. But he went ahead and carried his brother's son. And all their substance, meaning everything they own, including their headsmen, including their, their home caretakers and everybody. And the souls that they had gotten in Haran. And, and they went forth to go into the land of Canaan. Meaning he carried his brother's son and his brother's son family. Like this is not the instruction God gave Abraham. And this is where his struggle started. Because he never got to the promise early. See, some of you are holding people in your life now that should not be there. Be keen to God's instruction so you know who you're carrying along. You're carrying a lot you're carrying a lot and that's why your promise has not manifested. Let's go to chapter 13 and I'll make sure you what happens there. The Bible says in chapter 13 verses 14, it says, And the Lord said to Abraham, after that Lord was separated from him, Lift up now thine eyes and look from the place where thou art northward and southward and eastward and westward. For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it and to thy seed forever. You see, God was silenced throughout from, from verses 12. From that time, God was silenced, not saying nothing. And and, and Lord, headsmen will quarrel with Abraham's headsmen. There was problem and problem and problem. So finally, they separated. Abraham said, choose, look, look for the plane that you think is comfortable for you and leave. And he left. And that's when God spoke to him. See, there is somebody in your life that God has not permitted you to carry along. Some of you is relationships. Some of you, it could be your family member, but it's it's not the will of God for you. Yes, really. Lot was Abraham's brother's son. They, are, they were relatives, but he was not included in the promise. So he delayed Abraham. You could be with somebody right now in your life and they are the ones that have delayed your promise. Please, you have to pray and seek God for anybody that you're carrying along in destiny. I'm telling you, it's very important. Note what God tells you in the secret. And with this wisdom, ask God, is this person I'm with supposed to come with me? Ask God because it's important. You see, Abraham never asked God anything. He just carried everybody that he did, thought was good for him to carry along. I want to make a prayer for you that God will cause something to happen between you and whoever is stopping you from manifesting your destiny this season. That you always separate and you hear the voice of God again for your life assignment, for your purpose to be manifested. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for every viewer. Lord, assignments come from you and the fulfillment of it is what we all seek. 
Father, we pray that you bring separation as concerns anyone who is dragging someone in their lives that's not supposed to be in their life assignment in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that by your spirit, you're going to help everyone be free from a lot like relative or person in their lives that is hindering them from the promise in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we have this confidence that when we pray, you answer us. Thank you for answering this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. I love every one of you watching. Please be sure to subscribe. Join us every day, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, which is 4 a.m. West African Time for our prayers. And always check the channel for words that will guide you to discover your purpose and also to manifest it, okay? This particular word you've listened to is a purpose manifestation. Your purpose can be delayed or blessings of God over your life delayed because of someone you have carried and tacked along with. God bless you all and shalom.